Hey everybody, Jeff Stone here with another episode of MagicReview.com, day 25 of January 2015, uh, or of the year 2015. Uh, today we're looking at Dreamweaver by Paul Carnazzo. Uh, first, let me just tell you, this effect is in my repertoire. Uh, it's in my wallet. Well, not at the moment, it's not. Um, but it's this is in my wallet, and uh, it's the kind of thing that um, you can just take it with you anywhere, and anytime that the conversation steers towards anything about dreams or uh, I had a weird dream last night or anything like that you can tell the spectator hey you know it's weird I've studied dreams and uh, new age stuff and dream interpretation stuff like that and I, I found this I got this card at a new age bookstore and uh, it's supposed to help you control your dreams or influence your dreams or to stop you from having a recurring dream um, and so and then you go into the effect and <clears throat> this is the basic effect if you look on here, uh, there's a bunch of different dream uh, topics, and it's and it's hard to see on camera because of the weird lighting, but I'll just read some of them to you. Running, flying, food, marriage, babies, teeth, uh, sex, money, death, water, falling, um, demons, animals. So a bunch of different topics on here. Um, the idea is you have the spectator look at this and concentrate on, you know, find a dream that they're having, and that they haven't told you about yet, and they concentrate on one of the words on here. And um, then I'm not going to go through the whole presentation because there may be, um, for those in the know, uh, this certainly a layperson would never figure out this method. I guarantee that. But there's a few people out there that are in the know that might recognize the the method here. So I don't want to tip the method, but just in just a brief moment of asking the spectator to do a couple of things and to look at their word and concentrate on it without them saying a word, without them um, talking to anybody, writing anything down or whatever, you are able to know exactly which item on here they're thinking of. That's the basic effect. So you could simply just reveal, oh, you dream about, you know, running water, running all the time or, or mountains all the time or whatever. But there's so much more to it than that. For one, included in the book is uh, a, a little description of what each of those words mean in, in, as far as dream interpretation goes. So in other words, if you're dreaming about running, it means this. And so you can you can give them a little bit of a dream reading and tell them that, um, you know, uh, uh, let me just pull one out of the book to give an example. So I'm not making stuff up here. So let's say the dreaming of, of running, like I just said. Running or being chased is one of the most common dream symbols in all cultures. It means you're feeling threatened. So reflect on who is chasing you. They may, that's may They may also be symbolic and why they are a possible threat in real life. So you can have a little brief discussion about interpreting their dream without them even telling you what it is. That's what's cool about it. Further, if you're a cold reader, and he talks a little bit about this in the book, you can give details about the dream. So you know, they don't know this, but you know that they're dreaming about running because of the method of how to do this. So you're imagining that they're dream you know that they're dreaming of running. And so now you can discuss details. You can say, well, I can kind of see that you're, um, you're, you're out of breath and you're, um, you know, this is happening, that's happening. And uh, I think the, you're dreaming about running or being chased. So now you've just frequently told them what they're, they're thinking about, what they're dreaming about, and then you can give a little bit of an interpretation. So it has a real potential for you to connect with your spectator. That's the effect. Okay. I'm telling you that so that you know what you're getting. That's the basic idea for it. And I'm sure you can see the potential there to be able to truly connect with a spectator. And one other thing, um, do not have my wallet handy. Uh, I have other things like this in my wallet that, uh, in fact, there's another effect by Paul Carnazzo that's exactly the same trick, same method and everything, except it's, it's just animals. So you have them think of one animal on the list and everything, the method and everything's identical to this. Um, I'm replaced, I've replaced that with this. The animal ones was cool and I used it a lot and I carried it with me everywhere I went. Um, but this one is extremely organic and the card looks better. Uh, it looks more like a new agey thing that you might actually get in a new age bookstore. So it's, it's organic and it has this sort of not magic tricky feel to it. It's, it has a very real feeling to it. So the card is very well made. 
It's just a thin plastic. It's about the size of a credit card. This thing is not gimmicked at all. It's examinable. They handle it the whole time. Uh, you give the card to them to use during the, the presentation and everything. So, um, so let's talk about the three things that I care about when I make a review. Now that you know what the effect is, you have to decide if it's worth getting. So here we go. First one, uh, method. The method is old as the hills. Stood the test of time. Uh, anybody that's been in mentalism for a while has probably used this method on some way or another. Lots of some of the biggest names in mentalism use this concept. So the method's solid, no question about it. Uh, it's very cleverly um, built into the presentation uh, of this card and, and the handling of it so that it's, even if you are familiar with the method, you might it might slip by it because it's very, very cleverly hidden in here. And there are lay people, actually, that that know about this method, um, but are used in a totally different way. They will never see it uh, uh, using this. Um, so, very, very clever concept. Secondly, um, it, you know, uh, it's very doable. Um, it's just a little bit of cold reading, as I mentioned, and also uh, the, the dream interpretation stuff that I just mentioned. All those things combined to make the method really you. You're the method, it's presentation. Um, the technique itself is, is you have to be paying attention and thinking a little bit, but it's virtually self-working. Uh, you just have to do a little bit of um, paying attention during the presentation to make sure you get all the information you need, but it's very easy. Uh, I've never missed on this using this concept. Um, so there you have it. That's the basic method uh, without revealing too much, and it's within the reach of just about anybody's skill level. Uh, so how about ad copy integrity? Totally accurate. Go read the ad copy because it's very, there's some bold claims in there like no force. That's very, it's true. There's no force. It's a different word every time. Uh, they can literally think of any of these words. You don't, don't, you don't guide them to any particular word or anything like that. Um, so it's very, and you never ask them any questions. You don't fish for the answer or anything like that. Um, they literally don't say a word uh, for, in order for you to get what, what word they're thinking of. So it's very, very accurate ad copy and a very clever method. Um, so the only thing in the ad copy that I, I would just clarify, it's not, it's not misleading, but it, you might misunderstand it. Um, the, the claim again that you can tell them details about your dream. That's true, but it goes back to what I was saying earlier. If you know what the dream subject is, then it's very easy to just sort of you know, make up details basically because you know what the central theme of the dream is. So you obviously won't be 100% correct, but again, the, the running thing, you, you know, if you say things like, oh, I can see shoes and I can see that you're, you're out of breath and that um, uh, things are going kind of fast and, and that, those are details that are probably accurate in a dream about running. So um, anyway, so method, solid, ad copy, solid, product quality. Solid. Again, this is the size of a credit card. It'll fit inside your credit card slot in your wallet, and uh, it's very, very uh, compact. And I mean, this is it. You just need to carry this with you. Uh, well, I will say this. Okay, um, there's the the method requires you either to a use a crib sheet, uh, but it's very small and there's very few things on it, or b a simple mnemonic to remember the things that you need to remember for it. Um, uh, but here's how it works. If you're using the crib sheet, you only need to peek at it for a split second, and you can do that while you're putting the card back in your wallet. So that's the method I prefer rather than trying to remember the mnemonic. And the mnemonic's actually pretty easy, so it wouldn't be that hard to memorize. Um, so if you want to take the, the extra time to learn the mnemonic to memorize what you need to, then you don't even need the crib sheet. You just need this card. But if you're like me and you're saving your brain space for other things, the crib sheet is actually smaller than this card fit right in your wallet. It's actually in the book. You can just photocopy it onto some cardstock or something, cut it out, and put it in your wallet. So in order to do that, all you need to do is carry around uh, this and the crib sheet or have that little bit of stuff memorized. Um, so the quality of the book, it's very well done. It's very small, just a little booklet here, um, but it has everything. It's got a really good idea for a presentation in there. It has the effect taught in there. It's got the method. Um, it's got the, I guess, I guess the memory peg, I don't know if it's, if it's technically a mnemonic, I, I don't know the exact definition of mnemonic, but it's a memory peg on how to remember um, the list, the, the things that you need to remember. Um, 
but it's got the dream interpretations in here. It's got um, some just some, uh, some extra ideas on here uh, on on how to present it. It's just it's very uh, well put together, well written, and everything. And it's it's nice quality too. It's not just a cheap little flimsy book. So all in all, I mean. It's in my repertoire, but that means nothing to you because if you're a coin manipulator, this will probably never be in your repertoire. Um, but see, I like the effect, and that is the effect you're getting, uh, the, as I've explained it. So the question is, if you like that effect, well, will this work for you? Well, I've told you everything you need to know. It'll fit in your wallet. The method's simple. It takes a little bit of memorization one time or a crib sheet. You don't have to memorize anything. Uh, and the product's well made, and it's very durable, and it'll last you a while. So... Based on all that stuff, regardless of the effect, I'm giving it five stars, stone status of gem. That's it for this one, folks. It's time for you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, listen to the random iTunes song at the moment, which is... Oh, man. Yeah. Boy, you got to love that classic steel guitar there. It's, uh, I Won't Be Home No More by Hank Williams, senior, not junior, folks, senior. Remember when I was a kid, my dad used to always come home from work almost every day and say to my mom, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? The old Hank Williams song as well. Anyway, so I grew up on that stuff. I love classic country. Uh, I also love heavy metal, and for some reason, it's just not been coming up on the random iTunes song. So maybe tomorrow, on day 26, it'll come up when we are reviewing at Look. Yeah, that's right, Look. It's a weird, fun, looks like a goofy little kind of a card trick where the Google eyes move or something. I haven't read the whole thing yet, uh, but it's a pretty small, simple one. So anyway, um, it'll be quick for me to review it. That's why I'm doing it because I'm busy tomorrow, mon tomorrow uh, Monday. So that's it. Day 26 tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace and out. <laughs>